hey guys welcome back today in this video i'll show you how you can create a control panel web hosting control panel using Volter vps service and centos web panel before we get started let me tell you this sent os web panel or cwp control web panel is completely free of cost and it's one of the best free control panel available so you can take a look at this by just google cwp or visiting the website <clears throat> given the description so just have a look and just look for the features and you call also look at the demo they have you know created a link for demo so now let's get started and for that you need to click on the first link in the description and go to the Volta vps services and create your account this is completely free of cost and they will give you initially 50 dollars of worth of credit to get you started so once you successfully create your account and able to log in just move to this page where you can see this link or as soon as you log in you will be redirected to the page where you need to click on the products and after you reach the product and you able to see the screen just click on this create and here we can see a couple of options in first choose server you need to click on the cloud compute which is automatically enabled that's okay and now server location choose the location which is nearest to you in my case i'm going to choose tokyo you can choose anything you want but try to keep it nearest to your location and now in the server type go to application and click on centos web panel let's hit next and the server size click on this with the cwp configuration that default server size is going to be for ten dollars per month you can choose higher plans if you want but for now for testing purposes this should be enough moving to nest additional features you can enable ipv6 which is internet protocol version 6 and you can enable auto backups if you want they're going to charge something extra for that so i don't need that now and you can configure these options later on as well so don't worry much about that and leave these default for now and enter the server name you can enter anything you want for me in this case i'm gonna enter server and just hit the deploy now it's gonna take a few minutes you can see the status is installing once it is installed the status will be activated so we guess we should wait for now now you can see status is running so just click on that this means your server is installed properly and you can see a couple of details over here for now i'm concerned about this url just grab the url and open in another tab skip this security warning and here it is to the login page this is the root login of your Walter vps server control panel so we need two things here we need username and password so i'm gonna grab the username which is root which is default for any of the server you create over here and password i'm gonna copy the password and just enter the root username and the password and hit login you can see i have successfully logged in and here you are saying too many details too many warnings for now don't worry about that this is just details we'll get on to these later on these are super easy to fix so don't worry about that you can set the root email if you want okay all right this is your web hosting control panel 
which is created on CentOS and uh, CentOS web panel and Volter VPS. So now next thing we need to do is we need to set up this panel to be able to access this by using our domain name or any other name which is easy to remember as of now you can see in the URL address it is just IP address so I'm gonna change it to domain name so for that you need to have a domain name a fully qualified domain name you can purchase one if you don't have and if you have one you need to create an a record pointing to this IP all right for example if you registered your domain name with godaddy is the article beautifully written how can create an a record for that you need to log into godaddy account go to domain manager scroll to additional settings and manage dss dns i'm sorry why did i pronounce dss i don't know on dns management you need three things first thing is host second thing point two this is the ip address actual ip address of your server this is and third thing is ttl doesn't matter much so here's the gif how you can add an a record to your demo so just click in new a record and click on a host name at instead of entering at the rate enter your name of the server for example if you want to access your control panel using server.yourdomain.com so just enter server and let's go one more time and points to here you need to enter your ip address here you need to enter the server here into need enter ip address and just click on save all right now once you successfully create a record for your domain name you need to go to server setting and change host name and if once you click on the change host name you must be able to see this screen where in the field new host name just enter your ser server name or whatever the a record is created server dot your domain your domain dot com all right and before entering this you need to make sure that you have created successfully this a record otherwise this gonna give an error once you are done creating this and you click on change host name you can see uh, a success message over here and this url which is currently server will change to your server dot your domain name dot com all right so now i guess we are done here and i want to clarify one more thing you are saying four links to your admin panel so these are all links two of them are non ssl category which means that they are used in unsecure environment without ssl and these two are used with ssl and once you change your host name your ssl will automatically be created if not this gonna throw an error this will not get successfully added if your this subdomain don't point to the ip address above all right so when everything goes fine you gonna again see four links and i would recommend you use the one with ssl any of this all right so let's go ahead and if you are using cloudflare in as a middleware between your domain name and your server so you need to disable cloud protection in order to use this otherwise this may throw an error all right let me tell you what i'm talking about just look at this picture 
this is the dns setting of cloudflare you need to bypass the protection uh, by clicking on this link all right this icon it should not be orange it should be gray all right so this means you are bypassing the protection and just enabling the dns system all right now in order to add a domain name you need to create an account and for that go to the domain tab and click on add domain and now you can see this screen click here to create a new account and in here for each domain a new account will be created or for account you can create multiple domains as well so just enter your domain name whatever it is enter your username using which you can access this control panel see there are two ways to access either you use root which is not recommended if you want to use just to use your domain name and host your domain just enter a username and password and use that username password to access your configuration do not use root unless you want to change something on server side right or make changes in the server configuration so just keep the, this option checked share ip and choose the package you can keep this default all right just keep all this default and create so guys that's it for this video i'll be back with another video another set of instructions okay for now thank you thanks for watching bye bye have a nice day